I want to switch gears to something uh, about Mike Pence because he – remember all – like I, I would say probably the number one reason why Hillary Clinton isn't president – uh, aside from the fact that I don't think she was a great candidate, but like you look at the email situation and just the way that she got hammered for the email situation. Lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Here we go. Mike Pence had an AOL account while he was governor of Indiana, and it got hacked. AOL is a throwback, too. <laughs> First of all, Mike Pence is the guy who, like, when his AOL account got hacked, would be like, uh, Mother, do we Hill still have those CDs that they sent us in the mail where we get 500 free hours? So I worked in customer service at a um, digital startup, and you know, folks would have to give me their email address so I could look up their account. And if you have a Gmail account, I know the call is going to go pretty smoothly. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You're on the younger this side. This is actually very perceptive, Jamie. Yeah. But when ahead. folks said, um, you know. Jane Doe at AOL.com oh or boy. at Netscape.net. Yeah. Oh, Hotmail.com. <laughs> I knew that call was going 10 minutes plus, and it yeah. was going to be a long go. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's such a great observation. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. An AOL account for the governor of Indiana. Obviously unsecured. It's certainly not up to date. It's AOL. Um. Which really, I think, at the end of the day, just highlights that this really was an election about nothing, right? Like the emails really weren't the issue. Yep, I think, and you know, so um, the Indianapolis Star that released some of these emails has made it clear that it's unclear what they have in the emails. They have twenty nine documents, twenty nine pages, um, but it hasn't been clear what exactly it is it was it all of Pence's emails because it is interesting to note that in Indiana law, it's not necessarily illegal to be using a private account mm -hmm. it's not a private server it's a private account but they have to retain them for records that it has to go you know into the government has to be able to store them and it's unclear whether they actually did um hold on to these emails so i think that we're in necessary we're, we're probably in for another whirlwind with mike pence based on once they figure out what is in these emails um but even so so the pence pence administration ended up um, hiring a law firm to look through these emails. I think that people are equating the downfall of Hillary Clinton as having her own private staff going through and figuring out what's personal from what's work. So, you know, the Pence team can definitely say that they're, they have a rubric to look through and mm -hmm. they have something to compare it to mm -hmm. and take it in more of a formal capacity than having staff members go through and deciphering these. So um, he is also now in a, in a fight with uh, the AP because they published these emails, and as, uh, some of them, and as, as part of it, his wife's email address was leaked out. And he demanded an apology, and they said no. <laughs> um, I'm not saying I'm on his side completely, but I also think, like, you're running around saying what you said during the campaign, and this happens to you, I'm not going to cry for you. I'm just not. No. Yeah. And part of what Donald Trump said is like, well, they should have had a better security system. My guys did. Everybody, we had a perfect system. And now look at what, the, and, and now here we go. His second in command has this. So it's a little hypocritical, I think. But I also think it would be a little hypocritical of Democrats to be overjoyed at the fact that there is now stuff that was leaked in a private email uh, from a private email account. Exactly. And I don't think we necessarily know how to handle going forward these hacks because in itself are the emails the news or should news organizations be going through them and figuring out what the news is and reporting those yeah um it's just a new time we live in with the cy cyber security is controlling our world and how going forward cyber security controls it? our world former presidents are tapping the phones of donald trump and tr that's not true that's not true at all <laughs> 